start, shall we, David, uh, by reflecting on the news that broke uh, late last night about Mikhail Gorbachev dying aged 91. Yeah. Now, he's a man you knew very well working in government. In fact, you were present on that historic day when he was invited to London to meet Margaret Thatcher. Yes, I, 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 I was, and it was the most remarkable thing that his aircraft touched down at an RAF station just outside London, and he came for the purpose of being briefed by Margaret Thatcher as to how he could get the most out of his meeting with Ronald Reagan. It was an extraordinary moment. Even more extraordinary when halfway through the discussion, it was a courtesy to allow his interpreter to do the interpretation. And someone came up, we must get our interpreter in because that fellow's not interpreting what he's saying. Gosh, isn't that unbelievable? <laughs> I mean, a very I important... how they were twisting it. Mm. Well, I think he was just incompetent. <laughs> right. Why, why was he different from the old guard, from the from the Politburo? What was the what was the difference? Just just to to remind people how, in historical terms, this man brought an end effectively to yeah. the Cold War. Well, I mean, the people who were running Russia, uh, Soviet Union, at that time were elderly and ill, and of course, a number of them died just after having taken up office. Um, Gorbachev was much younger. Gorbachev was dynamic. Gorbachev was a reformer. You know, perestroika, we all, yes. we all want to talk about, was perestroika. The and, 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 and glasnost. And he was able to reach out uh, to people in the West. And without in any way humiliating himself, he just spoke with a quiet dignity that we were just not used to. Yeah. But yet you have a young leader in the form of Vladimir Putin now. We could hardly have a bigger contrast today. I mean, I can't see uh, Gorbachev ever invading Ukraine or being so indifferent to loss of life on a massive scale. And this is why, you know, everyone who exulted over the fall of the Soviet Union, uh, they could surely never have foreseen that Putin is in many ways a lot more dangerous mm. than the people who used to run Russia in Soviet times.